What's going on guys? Uh, just out for a uh, little walk today out of a different property. Uh, I was thinking of making uh, a more permanent cabin. Uh, the other cabin's more of a short-term fix. Uh, what I'm out here today is to scout around for locations for a more structurally built cabin, so probably actual purchase materials. Uh, I'm also looking for a suitable location where hopefully I get the most amount of light. It's not the best property in terms of lighting, but there seems to be ample places that I could probably put up a cabin. So the real goal today is I'm just taking you for a little walk around as I am and just scouting it out and just kind of get an idea of the lay of the land, what kind of resources are available, how close can I get uh, a cabin, say close to water or more sunlight or something of that nature. So the reality is it's a bit of walking around. Uh, I got this nice little starting point here and I'm going to basically work my way across the property. I have a place in mind, but depending on what I see up this hill is uh, basically going to determine, you know, where I decide to put it in the long run. So anyways, we're going to take a short walk and, uh, you know, if we stay late, I'll get something to eat. If not, maybe have a coffee or tea. I brought a little bit of everything with me and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so we're at the first area, and the reason I stopped here was really, really simple. It's not a long walk from the road, which is really important because I'll be basically carrying materials up here like wood, nails, equipment, saws, axes, whatnot. The next reason is it looks like this was originally a turnaround point for when they used to log this area. So my girlfriend's father used to log this area, and this is how I found out about this particular road. I didn't even know this was here. I've been out here a few times. So the reason I like this spot is because it's open here. It doesn't look it right now because it's a little overgrown, but it could all be cleared out really easily without damaging the forest, so to speak. Uh, the only issue is it's a little unlevel, but I don't think that I think that can be worked around. Uh, another bonus is that it's close to water, which is something I wanted as well. Uh, it seems to get a fair bit of sunlight, and in the winter it will too, because it's away from the side of the mountain or. I say mountain, but it's a hill. And um, yeah, and it's a nice, fairly flat area, so it's easy to work. And it's really well compacted, which is another reason why I want it to be in a spot that it could be stable, because it's going to be a solid structure, is the plan. So I like this spot. This is actually really good. But I'm going to keep this in mind. I'm going to keep on walking. I've got at least another kilometer, kilometer and a half to go that way, and then, then from there I'll figure out what I want to do. But good start, real good start. So within just a few feet, like just turn the corner real quick, I found another spot that's even better. It's even more cleared out. It's a little more flat overall, uh, but it's a nice open area. There's no overgrowth. I've walked up off camera, up on the ridge. Uh, nice combination of birch and some hardwood trees. Lots of dead standing, so good fire supply for a while. Not really, a, like there's another road right up there, which is kind of neat. And what I was thinking, and this is kind of neat, so since the property is long, it'd be really cool to make like little paths and stuff so you can go for walks around, because I like doing that stuff. So that's something to think about in the future. So if I were to put a, a small cabin here or there or over there, then I could always just have some fun and make some little alternative routes. These are old woods roads. They've been sitting here forever. So yeah, this spot definitely, somewhere in here is definitely looking really great right now given the amount of sunlight i'm getting on the midday the sun is square above me which is uh, one o'clock right now it is perfect and if you cleaned out just a handful of trees handful this place would be just stellar right into the evening and uh yeah i'm liking it so far let's keep going it's exciting
Okay, so we've gone off the beaten path a little bit. The uh, road ab abruptly stopped. Um, and then it basically comes down to a slope here to this uh, natural spring creek. Um, that's awesome, because that means within a short walk, I have water here possibly, or short walk back down the hill. So if that was a location that I decided on, then um, yeah, access to water would be reasonable. And it'd be, this is fresh spring water, so it's gonna be super clean and uh, there's no farming near here and like that so it'd be pretty much drinkable straight up but you know what we don't take really take those chances so anyways we're in a bit of a mini valley here um so i'm on the lower end of the property uh, i think i'm just going to hightail it back up that way and try and find any remnant of a road or anything like that if not i'll just have to kind of zigzag my way so what's going to happen is i'm going to go back up here eventually and then across to another set of roads uh, and then I'm going to work my way across till I find the other spot that I want to take a look at today and then uh, I'm hoping I just discover more paths that's what I really want to find I want to find other woods roads I want to go explore that other one up there later on if at all possible but yeah so I'm going to head up that way go to a source try and get across find a way across and then work my way back in to check out I have two places in mind, so I want to go see those. They're both really good, but just aesthetically, that was the best one so far. So. And uh, good access. So Anyway, we'll keep on going. So I kind of made my way back onto a woods road. It kind of looks like maybe more of a walk path at one point in time. Um, the whole distance since I jumped across that brook, it's been on a slant and it's basically bogged out. So basically what's happened, all the water that's collecting above it is seeping down. So it's basically a bog down there. It's really too bad because there's a couple nice flat spots, but they're all just wet, 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 wet. So no good. So I'm probably about, I don't know, 50 meters to the next uh, campsite or cabin site, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's got to get through some thick brush here and then, uh, yeah, should be good. But yeah, this is fun. This is great. I like exploring around. Uh, I was here in the winter and it's just all dead looking and now it's just alive and it's just beautiful and, and it just kind of inspires you to get out a bit. Bugs are getting nuts though. Uh, the further in I get, the worse I get. So you might see them on the lens and I apologize for that. But. Let's keep trucking, this is fun. Okay, so the walk-in is great now. This used to be actually all filled in with overhang and deadfall. Uh, I think one of the members of the family must have came out and cleaned it out, which is awesome. So whoever did that, thank you very much. This makes this into a beautiful little walk now. So I'm going to make my way down. This is actually the area that I was talking about for the second one. But now that I'm here, that's not flat enough. Um, so what happens is it's just not going to sit in a great spot. Plus the distance from where I have to bring the wood up to here is quite a bit of distance compared to the other ones. Um, I'm going to keep it in mind, but I don't think it's the place that I want to be. Uh, but I'm really excited about having this path here because it's just nice. It's nice to be able to move around the property easily. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, keep on trucking. Okay, so this is area three, yes, three. This is a really nice spot. Given the time of day and the time of year, the sun is squarely above. 
various flats ish <laughs> ish uh, could be cleaned out quite easily uh, definitely very firm footing it was a turnaround point for when they were doing logging I think uh, a little rough to get in a lot of shrubs and brush it would take a day to really clean that out which I'm you know perfectly happy doing it there's enough for a nice little walkway it's it's this it's one groove of a tire track that's stuck and now it's almost like a path all the way through so uh, that would be something I would consider if this spot is a spot and to be honest right now it's looking pretty good um, I know there's water down there I know there's water over there I know I can go fishing over there um, I know I could camp down there uh, about a kilometer away or less there's a place where I did the uh, Dutch oven so I did that down there so uh, definitely some nice spots so what I'm gonna do uh, I don't want to backtrack too much if I go back I want to hit the road and then walk back because now that I have a good idea what this place looks like at this time of year where it's all cleaned out I could build just about anything of the size that I want and uh, yeah, this is going to be, this could be the spot. I, I really like the other one over there. So before I leave today, I'm definitely going back there. I may go back there before I do anything over here. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to just traipse down into the woods and see how far of a walk it is to the road. And could a path be made up from there to minimize carry time? The next thing is, uh, if that's the case, I might go down that way to see what kind of path it has to the water just for fun. And then... From there, I'll probably double back on the road and then go take a look at, you know, the other site again, just to give it a comparison, because I, I still may pick the other spot. I don't know. The other spot has a backwoods feel. This feels more open and more like already been cleaned out, which is good. But over there, it's more of like hidden cabin in the woods kind of thing and quiet and discreet. So that has its appeal too. Or it could just be a fun camping spot, like take a buddy, go out and blah, blah, blah. But this is, uh, this is way, way better than I thought it was going to be. Way better. Folks, you cannot get much better than that. So, I went down. There's definitely a path that can be made that kind of weaves its way down. Not many logs in the way, so it wouldn't take much cutting. And then it'd, I'd have to dig it out because there's a lot of soft, dead wood, so I wouldn't want to trip or anything, so I'd have to be a little careful. The only issue would be their boards are going to be anywhere from 8 to 12 feet long, maybe shorter or longer, I'm not sure. So it, you won't have maneuver room. I'd like as straight as a path as possible. This would be twisty and windy and frankly annoying. Uh, however, I came back up this way and sure enough, this road that looks like it ends here extends down around the corner perfectly down into a culvert that they constructed with some off-island rocks. But anywhere is there I could make like a, I don't know, three, four log bridge, just something to bounce across, park right there. I am literally a minute's walk, not even that, up here with, with materials. I, it's going to be hard to beat this spot in terms of water, fishing, accessibility, uh, openness, sunlight, and the only downside is that it's close to the road. You can hear people drive by, but people don't come down here very often. The other great thing is that just out that way, I have access to the nice <laughs> cleared trail by a family member up and around, and I feel like I could even cut a trail down to the other one and make it into like a cool little walking trail or a snowshoe trail. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of... Uh, I found a ton of dead standing over there, which is great for just getting started, like just nice 
looks like hardwood, um, but it'd be great for just burning wood. There's some extra twigs and stuff here that just I can burn away really easy and clean, well, as I clean up the area. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty pretty happy with this. So what's the right thing to do? The right thing to do is to go back down, hit the road, go back, walk to the car. I think I'm going to walk back to the car, drop my pack, drop the camera. Well, maybe not the camera, maybe I'll take you along. And I'll walk back up that road and go take a look at the other spot once again. Because there's something appealing about the seclusion of it. And uh, I want to make sure that that, before I do anything here, anything at all, I want to make sure that that place is ruled out. Because I know there's no other place other than that here, that turnstile, and back there. Now that they've cleared that road out, I don't want to use that turnstile because it's just, it'll just get in the way. But this is definitely out of the way and you could make it into something fun. So I made it back to the original spot, or kind of the second of the two original spots. Um, I really like this area because it's very secluded and foresty. You know, like there's lots of big, tall trees around. Again, there's not a lot of birch. Um, it feels cozy. I don't know if that makes sense. It feels really cozy. I'm kind of divided between having an open cabin and a cozy closed-in cabin. Um, and one of the reasons for that is the elements. Sometimes the elements can be more rough in open areas, and sometimes they can be mild in closed areas. The difference is, is that the accessibility, the difference is the accessibility uh, changes how you think about it. So this is a very short walk, just like the other way. There's a place where I can park down here, out of the way. Uh, downside, it's further away from the main roads, so it's harder to get in here. So I wouldn't be able to actually get in here in the winter unless I had a four-wheel drive or a snow machine or something like that. So I would have to snowshoe in, which is fine, not a problem. But for just general convenience, the other one's a lot better. There would be less for me to clear out, which is important. There wouldn't be many trees I'd have to take down here, which is great. I don't think any of these would become uh, deadfall, so to speak. There are a couple birch I might have to deal with, which would be fine, because there's a billion birch here. It's not like they're going to run out. Um, again, relatively flat, not a big deal. Easy access to water. Um, very minimal work to clear this out and clear the path. Uh, I think at the end of the day, that's a big bonus. But the other path is longer, um, but I wouldn't have to clean it out now. Not immediately, at least, because I'll make a path down the other way. So um, the only reason I'd clear out the other path is to make it so I can walk out and walk the rest of the, the property. Whew. This is going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough, tough choice. I guess also there is a place to park at the other one. I just got to park further down. So after I offload, say, some wood and tools and stuff like that or whatever, just hypothetically, I could then just drive it down and park down further down. So that's good. Um, the other thing is, is that guy's close to water for fishing, which would be awesome. There's the West River over there. Um, yeah, that, that would be ideal because you get a fishing license, get some brook trout or uh, rainbow trout or whatever. Be 
Great fulfillment. <laughs> um, I like this spot though. I just like the seclusion of it. I just like the this is forest everywhere. It's just nice. It's nice to see. It's nice to be on an island that hasn't been completely devoid of forest, you know. And uh, the noise pollution will be less from the vehicles going by. All right, I'm not going to make a decision right now, and there's no need to. Uh, I think I'll make a decision before the end of this video, if I can, or at least give you guys a good heads up, and I, I'm definitely leaning towards the other one, but this is now, now that I, I'm glad I came back, because it gave me a really good point of reference in terms of what I, is available, so. Uh, it's getting mid-afternoon now, bugs are eating me alive. I think what, what I'll do is head back to the car, pack up, drive back down to the other site, and then maybe make my way down to the river, give you a, another look at that, and uh, fire up the uh, twig stove maybe and have a, a soup or a tea or a coffee or just something. Uh, maybe I'll, yeah, twig stove would be good because then it will keep the bugs away a little bit. And uh, sit out. It's a beautiful day, and take a look around, and then maybe ponder, <laughs> ponder what uh, what would be the best choice. They're both excellent. Very, very different in their own regard. Similar in a different way. Both have wonderful advantages. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you know. Okay, so we're going to wander in here, uh, basically where I did the Dutch oven video. Um, hopefully I'm in frame, probably not. And we're just going to wander back there and head down to the uh, West River and, and uh, basically just sit out and relax for a little bit and kind of ponder what I've seen. And then uh, after I get something to eat, maybe I'll head back up to that site. We'll just walk out around. There's a way to get through there, which is great. Uh, it's not the best route, but we can get through and uh, take a take a last look, if you will, and and go from there. Pretty excited. Man, it looks totally different here. Doesn't look anything like it did when I was here in the winter. Like, yeah, I was really surprised. Uh, but it took a second once I recognized that fallen tree there and, and the one I stepped over there. So. This is a great beauty spot. Too bad there's too many trees here. Nice and flat. Wouldn't be a bad place for a cabin, to be honest with you. Access to the river, water. Uh, deadfall would be a big issue. There's a lot of big dead trees around here. It would definitely crush, crush the old cabin. I'm not going to build anything crazy big, so... Don't uh, don't want to run too much risk. Oh well, keep going. That gets hot really fast. I think we're good. So I'm going to start with a coffee and then we'll go from there. I, I don't think I'm going to stay too much longer because it's it's uh, really bad bug-wise right at the moment. So 
get a cup of coffee, go from there. So I rambled on for quite a bit and didn't realize that it stopped recording, ran out of battery. So we'll start over again. So uh, if I had to compare both the sites, sorry about the smoke, it's literally blowing that way. I want it to blow this way for the first time in my life. I want smoke to hit me in the face, but I guess it's going to go that way. Uh, the real advantage of the second site is accessibility, not only for materials, but also the ability to kind of clean it out and just, it'd be a very, very short walk to that camp. Um, it's nice and open and clear, so you get as much sun as you could possibly get. It's not overgrown, so it's not going to take too much to clean it out. It's an proven solid land. It's not in an area where it could be runoff, whereas the other one, I think there might be runoff. Water sources nearby. Advantage fishing is around the corner, so to speak. Super easy accessibility, um, as I said. Um, after walking the entire property back, and then, and this is like the third time I've actually done it. Uh, first time in no snow conditions. Um, I have to say it's it's a killer spot. Like it's exactly kind of the the balance of everything that I need. Um, I like the other one though. I like its compactness. I like the way that it's kind of surrounded and cozy and all in. But I think at the end of the day, that might not be it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm obviously going to go sleep on, on this, like, and think about it a little bit more. But I'm pretty sure that's the that's going to be the game plan. Where my spoon go? Where my spoon go? Son of a bitch! Just here. It's my favorite spoon. It's my favorite spoon. Doesn't help that it's gray either. Ha! It's in my back pocket the whole time. Son of a bitch. Anyways. So yeah, I mean, I'm not going to 100% decide today, but I'm, I'm, I'm fairly convinced that that's the golden ticket over there. Um, after this coffee, I'm going to wander back. Um, I don't think I'll film it. I'm just going to go take a peek. I want to see what kind of path I can kind of make my way back up through that way. Now, you might be asking yourself, you might be, you might be asking yourself, like, why are you doing that? Why are you building the second cabin? You already got a perfectly good cabin down there. And you're right, I do, and I love that cabin, I love that spot, and I love going down to it, and I put tons of work in it, and I'm still going to go down to that spot, I'm still going to camp there. I'm just going to create some options for different types of activities. So this cabin would be more of a weekend getaway, come out, go fishing, hang out with friends, drink some beers, maybe even go running or walking, it's not far from home, but it's definitely more secluded. The other one's more of a bushcraft, so you just kind of feel like you're getting out into the elements a little bit more, you, you struggle with it a bit more, it's more rustic, but still a great little cabin, and I love it to death, and it was meant to be there for anywhere from three to five years, and I think I'll get that out of it. I think this might take a couple summers to build. I don't think I'm going to necessarily have the money or the time to do as much as I'd like to do, at least right now. So it's a pickaway project. So it might be two years before I even get this up and running to a point where it could even stay in it. From there, you know, it's, it, you know, there's still probably work to do on top of that. So it might be three years before I actually get it all really squared away and usable on a regular basis. And then by then that other cabin might be not in the best of shape. I also don't want to create a bigger footprint out there. I think I've done everything I want to do. I was thinking of making it like a, not an outdoor kitchen, but just like a, another pavilion type pavilion. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. 
just like a, another enclosure that's just roofed so you could just kind of get your gear out of the rain but I mean ah whatever I mean that I might do that I might not anyways I think I got a little bit of a plan and I'm freaking excited I think it's gonna be a long work in progress I think it's gonna be a lot of fun not a lot of fun a lot of fun uh, thinking about what I want to do working on it it's a good project yeah I like it out here I like it out here a lot well if you guys have any suggestions or comments please put them down below like I know I didn't really film a lot of the area and to give you a really good picture of what I was dealing with I just kind of filled you in from spot to spot um, hope you liked the video click the like button subscribe if you can that'd be awesome but uh, for now, guys, that's it for me, and uh, I'm going to finish up my coffee, and then I'm going to wander on up and, and do a little more surveying, and then maybe the next video will be me uh, clearing out some stuff to kind of show you what I'm working on. Uh, that's odd, most likely the next video. If not, uh, it's going to be uh, an overnight with my buddy Ben or something else. But, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a good one.